Grand Rising, Rich Rising, Ashe, everyone. Good morning. How are we all doing this morning? Welcome to all of my new subscribers, cross watchers, returning subscribers. How are we doing this morning? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope this reading is reaching you guys a good energy, good vibes, good health. Okay, my loves. Thank you all for showing me love and support. A special thank you to my Sagittarius Collective. You guys show me a great amount of support and love on the channel, guys. We are at 539 or 49 subscribers now, guys. So we're growing and I really appreciate it, my loves. You guys show me so much love and affection. I really appreciate it. You guys are so supportive. A special thank you to my Sagittarius Collective. Where would I be without you guys? All right, just cleansing the energy really quickly in the room and over my cards, guys. But I'm back again with another video. Another video. Another, 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 another video. I said another video. Another reading. Another, 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 another video. How are you doing, guys? I'm doing all right. Okay, my love. Let's see what comes out. Some new energy, some new messages. Let's see what's going on. As we all know, these comments, these third parties, they're not going to stop trying to manipulate, infiltrate, and cloud someone's judgment. Yours and your person's. Especially these masculines. These masculines, they view things in the physical. Okay, they feel like they, they'll be able to see something with their eyes, you know. And you can't see what these third parties and comics are doing because they're working in the spiritual realm. All right, my loves. And since these guys got, please release all of my chakras at this time. So I can release messages. I can take the light processes. Spirit. At this time for Sagittarius. This reading is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. So check your birth chart to see where Sagittarius is for you. Thank you all once again. So, what's some new energy at this time? So many cards. Give us the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Few All right, guys, so we're going to do it like this. <laughs> so over here, we got the seven of Pentacles upright with the ace of Pentacles in reverse. Those were the first two cards that fell out. And everything else came afterwards. So, you know, as I take in this energy right now, guys, I feel like, first of all, this Seven of Pentacles energy could be my collective. You know, I feel like it is. I feel like you guys are worried about your finances at this time. I feel like you guys are working hard, um, you know, watching, you know, your the fruits of your labor here. I feel like you guys are um, also very analytical when it comes to anything and everything. I feel like you guys are looking at situations and taking your time to understand them. And I just feel like you guys are just really focused on working at this time, just growing. You know, if you guys have your own business, you guys can be definitely focused on trying to grow your business at this time. Um, I feel like these other energies here are being warned, not by you guys, but by the universe, by God, you know, by the higher up here. 
okay, by your ancestors, by your guides, okay, by your angels, especially Archangel Michael, okay, it could be somewhere involved here, Archangel Michael. I feel like these third parties, these karmics are being warned because they're doing something, you know, whatever they're doing behind the scenes here for negative connotations. It could be an Aries that's doing this to you guys or somebody that has highly aspected in your birth chart. These people, it seems like as of right now, they're trying to stop a, a cycle from coming. Okay, guys, or they want to keep you stuck in a cycle is what I'm picking up. Either they're trying to stop a cycle or they want to keep you guys stuck in a cycle. Like, they want to deprive you guys. And as I was starting the reading, I heard the word deprive in my head. But I just thought, I was like, you know, maybe it's just something I'm thinking about. But why would I be thinking about deprive, you know, just, it's just that one word. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like these people are trying to deprive you guys in a way. Like, starve you guys in the way, whatever way that could be. But I feel like they're doing all of that and they're being warned and they're trying to do all of that. And it's like it's failing because with the temperance here in the reverse, it's things going downhill. Okay, guys, failing plans. Okay, you guys are growing and ascending. You guys can have Capricorn, how the aspect it in your birth chart. All right, you guys are still moving forward here. Okay, my loves. And like I said, y'all not even focused on these karmics. These karmics are focused on y'all. They're so focused on you guys that their life could be going downhill and they're still focused on trying to stop you guys from having a new beginning. Something that's gonna, that's gonna come to you no matter what. Or they're trying to slow it down. Also what I heard in my head, guys. You guys are definitely trusting your intuition at this time with the high priestess stuff that's sitting on top of my deck. Yeah. Or you guys need to trust your intuition when it comes to who's doing this to you. You know exactly what you're talking about and you know exactly what's going on here. Okay, loves? Do not doubt yourself at this time. Let's clarify these messages. I also feel compelled to tell you guys that I feel like these karmics are trying to do this in a very strategic way to where nothing gets traced back to them. To where it doesn't look like they're actually trying to manipulate a situation or deprive you or starve you of something here. Okay, my loves? Clarify the fool with the world. Oh, the fool in reverse and the world of right. What we got? Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So this could definitely be someone's mother or ex that's trying to work with them on this or that is doing this. Okay, they could have manipulated your person into thinking that this was something that they should be doing at this time. Also, my loves, um, with the, with the um, Seven of Cups here, I feel like it's not working. I feel like these people are definitely stuck trying to figure out how something is not working. Okay, guys. Um, it could be both of them working together as a collaboration, your person and their mother or their ex here. Or it could just be um, this person doing this to you guys. Like I said, it could be an Aries, but something is not working. These people are definitely confused, okay, as to why the spell work is not working out here. So I find the seven of pentacles upright with the ace of pentacles in reverse. that wanted to come out and we got the queen of pentacles here so guys i feel like with the queen of pentacles in reverse these comics are definitely losing a lot of their abundance here they definitely are they could be losing jobs um they're cheating on this person that you know you're a person or this is you apply the rules how they fit and take what resonate and leave what doesn't on the table but yeah i definitely feel like these comics are definitely losing a lot 
I feel like you guys are very strong. You're fighting your corner. You're standing your ground. You're defending yourself. Or uh, This could also be your person defending you guys as well. This could also be God, your ancestors, your spirit guides defending you in the spiritual realm and protecting you guys at this time as well when it comes to these karmics and what they're doing for negative connotations here. Okay, my love? So if I take it in the reverse with the devil in the reverse, please. Give me a bowl of that message at this time. Yeah. It could be an Aquarius that's doing this, guys. Um, because the star card fell out in reverse with on top of the devil in reverse. You guys are growing and ascending at this time. And this Aquarius here is definitely in the energy of feeling like, you know, they're losing faith and hope and their abilities to affect you. Remember, I said the temperance in the reverse. This is things going downhill. Okay, guys. So when things hit the fan, this Aquarius doesn't want anything to get traced back to them. So they're they're doing something to you. They're doing this, you know, spell work, manipulation, mind uh, manipulation, mind magic here, guys. Um, and they're trying to hide their hand at the same time because they don't want anything to get traced back to them. Okay, my loves. Once it all goes down, or if it go, if it, if it, uh, if things hit the fan here, they want to make sure that there's, they don't have to take any responsibility for this relationship ending, this marriage ending. They they want to make sure that nothing get traced back to them. They also are trying to dodge and duck duck and dodge karma this person is working in the shadows whatever they're doing they're trying to definitely hide here okay i feel like everybody sees them though <laughs> that's the crazy part about it they're not hiding at all and uh the queen of swords gives me aquarius energy as well too guys so yeah you could definitely be an aquarius here clarify the queen of swords yeah. These uh this these comics are also very much confused as to why the spell work isn't working, guys. Because you guys are still very much in this energy here. You're still um focused on your business, your um your children, your self-love, somewhere with your head down reading a book, probably, guys, and they're trying to figure out why are you not you know, losing your shit <laughs> or something like that. With the emperor here in the reverse, I feel like this Aquarius is somebody that's extremely controlling and they're just trying to control things because they need to feed their own ego and their own negative um, habits here of just being a control freak as well, guys. Like this, this person is very toxic. They, they, they're they coming off like they feel like if they're not in control, okay, guys, of the situation or they're not calling the shots, it's like they feel like shit. So you guys are definitely doing your job here when it comes to putting this person in their place. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Wands upright, please. Guys, answer this So, yeah, guys. This Queen of Pentacles is definitely losing everything, losing all of their abundance, guys. This could be someone's mother, okay? Um, this could be uh, uh, someone that this person is, met, just your person is messing around with, or this is you. But this person definitely was trying to um, affect, get you guys, like, put out of a home or get you guys to get a divorce. They want to see a breakup here, okay, guys? And this king of wands upright, this person is determined to protect you guys. Clarifying the seven of wands here upright. They're determined to um, basically move forward towards you guys as well. King of wands is definitely in the upright. Provide for you guys. Clarify the lovers in the reverse with the star in the reverse. So yeah, guys, this um this Aquarius here, they're not gonna have very much success when it comes to affecting your growth or stunting your growth here because we got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, guys, 
And that is clarifying the, the star here, my love. So yeah. Okay guys, sorry about that. Okay, so yeah. They're not successful, guys. This Aquarius here, they, they're not successful. And with the Ace of Wands in reverse, the, uh, it's a failing plan here, okay? Because you guys are still growing and ascending, all right? They thought that you would, um, you know, they thought that you guys were going to compete. It's like this person wants you to fight with them. This Aquarius wants you to fight. They want you to argue. They want to draw you out, okay, guys? All right? And on top of that, they also want to see this masculine or your person here. They want to see your person release you guys, let you guys go, break up, divorce. This is this is what they want to see happen here. This person is definitely trying to cause chaos magic between you and your person. Okay, I have Pisces here again with the hangman at the bottom of the deck. So it could definitely be a Pisces or an Aquarius here, guys. Or you guys have been highly aspected in your birth chart. Clarify the emperor in reverse with the queen of cups upright. Yeah, so page of pentacles and the nine of swords in reverse. You guys are not stuck, okay? You're not, they want you to be like mentally trapped in your head mentally stuck okay guys they want control of your brain all right they want to uh tie you up keep you bound in some type of way to some negative toxicity way of life okay guys or something like that um with the page of pentacles here i feel like this person is working around the clock trying to get this to happen trying to get things to go their way here okay i feel like they haven't been successful because the five of cups is at the bottom of the deck right now guys they're feeling very much defeated and depressed um, also, I feel like this person wanted you to be depressed also, guys, and they're feeling exactly what they wanted you to feel and everything they wanted you guys to go through for sure. All right, clarify the four of wands with the um, king of wands real quick. Also, guys, what I wanted to point out is the four of wands with the king of wands. If you count, that's five wands there. So this person definitely wants to fight with you. Somebody wants you all to fight or they want to fight with you. Five of wands is here. They definitely are doing a lot of chaos magic and chaos spells to start up in a fight here. Okay, guys? Well, we got the empress in the reverse and we got the, um, the nine of cups here in the reverse. So I'm going to get some more messages on this nine of cups in reverse, guys. But I do feel like it's it's uh they want this masculine here, this king of wands energy that's so determined to move forward. Probably going towards you guys more than likely to uh, keep their options open. But we're going to get some more messages. Um, this karmic here, this third party, this person is someone that is uh, very much insecure. They could have lied about a pregnancy or um, just doing a lot of lying and gossip at this time, guys. So the nine of cups in reverse is shattered dreams, misery, eating disorders, immaturity, negative, pessimistic, low self-esteem. So yeah, they're inflicting this energy onto this masculine. They want this masculine's dreams to be shattered. They want this masculine to be miserable. Okay, guys? They want this masculine to have an eating disorder. All right, they want this masculine to be immature, negative, pessimistic, low self-esteem, okay? Because this masculine is in the upright, all right, guys? And also, they want this masculine to look outside of themselves and uh, for happiness and to keep their options open with the nine of um, cups here in reverse. This is all clarifying the nine of cups in reverse, guys, all right? This is this energy's energy. Okay, this Empress in the reverse, this is their energy. They're insecure. They're pessimistic, okay? Pisces energy as well with the Nine of Cups there, guys. 
they're um, pessimistic, they're negative, they're immature, they probably have an eating disorder, okay? Their dreams are shattered at this time, but they're trying to inflict that onto this masculine, all right? Because they see him in the upright, they see him standing in his power, and they're trying to find a way to break this masculine down. This third party know for sure with the six of swords here in reverse that they need to go to karma waters. They know for sure that they need to uh, carry on with their lives and stop trying to inflict energy and project onto people um, because they're jealous. Okay, this person is filled with a bunch of jealousy. They're at the five of swords. This person is very, very, very low vibrational. They know they need to go on um, to Karma Wilders, but they're refusing to. Clarify the Four of Cups with the Five of Wands upright, please. Thank you. Yeah, so they want this masculine to release you guys. You guys are at the Nine of Pentacles here. They want this masculine to release you guys, okay? This is what they want to see happen. With the hangman here in the reverse, this person is realizing that the only person they need to fight or they are fighting is themselves. It could be a Pisces, guys. They're not holding you guys back. They're not doing anything here. Let's clarify the hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse, disinterest, stagnation, negative detachment. Yeah. So this person wants you to, to feel disinterested. They want you to be stagnant, guys. And they want you to be negative. They want you to um they want you to also be detached from your person here with the hangman here in the reverse. But they're trying to project this energy onto you so that you feel this way, okay? Because this is how this person feels, all right, guys? Pisces energy, okay, with the hangman, all right? Somebody is doing a lot of projecting, okay? A lot of negative energy they're projecting over your person and over you guys, over your entire marriage or relationship here, okay, my loves? Let's keep going. Clarify the Empress in the reverse with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Empress in the reverse with the nine of cups in the reverse, please. Guys, empress to God. Clear accurate messages. Yeah, so this um, Empress in the reverse, they, they're not going to be fortunate with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And with the Four of Pentacles upright, instead of this masculine walking away from you guys, they're actually holding on as tightly as possible. Okay, to you guys' as energy and to their money at this time. This masculine could be saving a lot or, or is thinking about saving a lot. This masculine also only has eyes for you guys. They're, you guys will be reconciling also. If you have been um, out of contact with your person, you, you and your person are going to be reconciling. Okay, instead of all that other negative stuff, that's not what's happening here. Yeah, this third uh, party, this karmic is trying to do my magic on your person or on you guys, on the both of you guys, okay? So that they can definitely um, cloud this person's judgment on your sacral chakras as well, guys, okay? this uh, Your person could have put something to rest with this karmic, with this third party, and that's why they're um, in attack mode right now, guys. It could be a Virgo that's doing this as well with the hermit. Clarify page of pentacles with the nine of swords in reverse. So yeah, this karmic, this third party is definitely rushing in, okay, um, very hasty energy, very vicious, very aggressive, okay, guys? This third party is someone that's very childish. They could be spreading lies and gossip or talking about you guys to other people or talking negatively about you guys in hopes that it'll um, somehow manifest for you guys. I feel like it's going to get returned back to sender. Yeah, this person is definitely going to be or is feeling very much defeated at this time because whatever they're working on is just not working. Nine of Pentacles, upright, and the hangman in reverse, please. 
So yeah, this third party is being extremely sneaky at this time. All right, guys. They also want this masculine to be the king of pentacles in reverse. They want this masculine to lose their ambition, okay? Lose their job, lose all of their money here. Um, they want you guys, they're being sneaky when it comes to you guys as well with the seven of swords. They're trying to definitely draw you out here. Clarify the seven of swords with the king of pentacles in reverse. Seven of swords upright, please. Ancestry, guys, God. What are the messages here? Spirit. Clarify the seven of swords upright with the king of pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords upright. The King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands. So this third party, this karmic is someone that's very jealous of you guys. All right? They're at the Five of Swords like we stated before. This person is very jealous. All right? This person is not trying to change. They don't want to change, guys. All right? They want to stay the same way. That tower that they're trying to create for you guys is definitely backfiring. It's being returned back to sender, whatever they're trying to be sneaky about here. This masculine is not in the energy of being unloyal and unfaithful to you guys. They're in the king of swords energy. They're thinking very logical. They're being very mature with their decisions as well at this time. We got the death here in the reverse. So you guys can definitely be dealing with Scorpio. Let's get some messages on that death card in the reverse, guys. So the reverse death card is inability to move forward, resisting change, repeating negative patterns, loose energy, vengeful, untrustworthy, trapping people, sign Scorpio. So yeah, your person could definitely be being vengeful towards you guys. They want to trap you probably with a baby. Okay, guys, if you're a feminine or a, a masculine. Um, this person wants you to feel like you can't move on, okay, guys? Or this is what this uh, karmic, this third party is trying to do to your masculine to keep them in a constant cycle of being negative, okay? They see that this masculine is in the energy of thinking logical and making mature decisions here, and they're trying to keep him in this energy of being unloyal and unfaithful, okay? Feeling like he can't move forward, uh, trapping him, okay? Keeping him in some loose energy, repeating negative patterns. Yes, this karmic, this third party is definitely trying to keep this masculine stuck. They're doing everything that they can. They're going out of their way is what I'm hearing in my head, guys. To do this to your person. Death in reverse, please. Scorpio is definitely here with the death card. Yeah, this um this third party, this karmic is feeling very uninspired at this time because that's just not what's working. Their thoughts are very chaotic at this time, guys, with the ace of swords in reverse. And I have the three of swords upright. This is definitely the third party. They're going to be met with disappointments at this time. Also, guys, with the six of wands here in reverse. Clarify the will of fortune in reverse, please. With the judgment in the reverse. Wise ancestors out. Thank you. So yeah, guys, this third party is being seen, this karmic as a false practitioner, whatever they working on, it's, it's, uh, it's like some, it could be some spell work that they went and Google. They don't even know what they're really doing. They're not clouding this map, this, your person's judgment when it comes to you guys. Because this is still here. The Ten of Pentacles is still in the upright. You guys will have this abundance. You guys will get married. Okay? You guys will stay married as well. This masculine is definitely wanting to reconcile with you guys. They're moving towards you. They felt like they made the correct decision by even deciding to move towards you or stay with you guys as well. This third party is currently working though, guys. The Eight of Pentacles fell out. All right? They're currently working on this masculine, working on you guys, the situation here. Clarify the Nine of Swords upright. Nine of Swords upright with the Five of Cups. Yeah, secrets are definitely being revealed at this time. Nine of Swords upright with the Five of Cups upright. 
So yeah, this third party just wants your masculine to give to them with the Six of Pentacles here. This person is very greedy here. They're coming off that way, all right? This is definitely somebody that this masculine could have been sleeping with or doing some type of sexual indulging with at some uh, or for guys with the King of Cups here in reverse, all right? This uh, masculine is definitely choosing to move forward here, though. This third party is definitely feeling defeating that they couldn't put this masculine in the King of Cups in reverse energy. This could be you guys' husband, okay, for sure. Um, committing adultery, being immature, because this masculine is in the upright. He's in the Knight of Cups. He's coming to bring you guys apologies, genuine apologies, genuine love offers at this time. I feel like this third party wanted to delay this for some reason as well, guys, because they're jealous, okay? Yeah, but you guys are going to get this happy family life and have these, these happy children here, okay, with the eight of um, cups here upright and then the, uh, the, the, the ten of cups upright and then the eight of pentacles right behind that. This third party is currently working on trying to figure out a way to infiltrate you guys' the situation here when it comes to you guys being a happy family. They're trying to make this masculine choose, but at the same time, they're trying to manipulate this masculine mind and energy to make him have no choice but to choose them. Okay, your person, whoever your person could be, guys. Eight of Pentacles upright. What are the messages? Yeah, they're definitely not of um, Pentacles in the reverse. They're trying to distract this masculine um, while they're at work, guys, as well. The tower in reverse. Yeah, you guys definitely have triumph here, chariot upright. You guys have victory and success over this, this karmic. That tower definitely backfired for sure. Could be a cancer. Or you guys could have cancer. How do you aspect it in your birth chart? Six of um, wands here in reverse. Yeah, this third party is definitely realizing that this masculine found their confidence. Okay? Very confident, okay? This third party is definitely um, whining or begging this masculine with the page of wands here upright or doing some type of like crying is what I'm hearing, guys, because things are slowing down with them. Um, they're trying to remind this masculine of memories. Also, when it comes to you guys, the queen of wands here that you might have did or said. Okay, but this masculine feels like you make them happy and they feel like dealing with this karmic, this third party was something that was a good idea at first and now it's a burden. The same wands that they use to go towards this third party, this karmic, is the same wands that they're having to carry around that's burdening them, that's weighing them down at this time. Yeah, the two of swords, they feel like they made the wrong decision here. Can I find the high priestess in the reverse, please? Yeah, this third party is restless at this time, guys. They want to try again aimlessly when it comes to ruining this marriage, okay? It could be a Taurus that you guys, that your person, your person can have you highly aspected or they could be a Taurus, guys. Yeah, but yeah, that spell work is backfiring. What's going to? The magician is in the reverse, guys. Let's find the nine of wands in reverse, please. Things are definitely slowing down. Yeah, because this mask, your person is happy. Okay, or this is you guys. You guys could be a Leo or have a highly aspect in your birth chart. Yeah, this, your person is, is happy. Six of swords upright. Yeah. Six of swords upright, please. And six of cards. Go for the six of swords upright. Yep. This masculine wants to balance things. This your person wants to balance things out with you guys, okay? With the two of swords here upright. They feel like they made the wrong decision in juggling you guys as well, is what I feel like. They're ready to go to calmer waters at this time. Yeah, they're very guarded, guys. All right, with the nine of um wands here upright. This person with the three of wands upright is definitely deciding to move forward towards you guys. They definitely feel like, you know, it's the right decision that they're making. They made the right decision. They're optimistic about it, guys. They feel like, you know, you guys are definitely supposed to be together. But there's a third party, a karmic that's fighting against this, that doesn't want to see this happen. Okay, my loves? 
But yeah, this masculine do feel like you make them extremely happy. Could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with or somebody that has Leo highly aspected in their birth chart. This, this, um, these karmics, these third parties, they're failing miserably when it comes to them doing this spell work, mind manipulation and blackmail and all these little tactics that they're trying to do here, my loves. It's just not working and they just don't seem to understand that it's not going to ever work. Okay, guys, let's get the overall message here. Yeah, so the overall message is, is the three of pentacles came out crossing. So these third parties, whoever they clicked up with to go against you guys, you guys, the queen of wands and the upright, it's like these people are arguing, fighting, but trying to work with each other at the same time to go against you. I feel like these people have one thing in common and that's trying to bring you down or um, affect you, your life in some type of way, guys. Yeah, but the three of cups is here in the reverse with the page of cups in the reverse. So I just feel like that's a failing plan. It's like a suicide mission. They don't have nothing to celebrate. And these people want to have some type of victory and success here when it comes to affecting your life, your abundance. We're going to get some messages on the page of cups in reverse. So with the page of cups in reverse, guys, this is sexual abuse, obsession, ignoring in the voice, attention seeking, and seduction. So I feel like these guys, these people, um, these karmic, these third party, they could be saying that you guys are very um, like sexual, how you dress, how you carry yourself. Um, they could be trying to send you guys sexual energy to make you like overactive or over hyper or um, make you guys want to go and like uh, have sex with somebody else and ignore your intuition and just do it, just do it energy. Okay, guys. Yeah, what's the um, outcome? Yeah, they're also trying to do this to your person. So, that yeah, to both of you guys. So, you can both be in player energy, playgirl, playboy energy. These, part, these people have a bunch of karma to face, okay, because of what they're doing here. Yeah, they're trying to make you guys be in some choosy energy, go against each other here for sure. But I feel like they're sending this energy more towards my collective, the Queen of Wands upright. They want you guys to be, like, overly horny here. Give me the outcome, please, one card. Yeah, secrets are definitely coming out at this time, my loves. Yeah, and that that's what's putting this your person and the energy of feeling like they should have never did this or they should have never worked against you. Whatever, they're, they're in a lot of regret here and they're in a lot of despair. Something was a good idea, it was a burden. This person could have been given to 10 or more people here or less. Okay, guys? But with the moon here in reverse, this person, maybe they also did what they did because they were, was in fear of the unknown. Um, they were in fear of change also, guys, but they're regretting that, okay? They're really regretting that. This Your person is, or you guys are in a lot of regret here. This person has repressed emotions when it comes to you, to you guys. I feel like they really love you and care about you. Somebody is up at night losing a bunch of sleep, okay, guys? Stressed out as well. Um, they're at the five of pentacles or this is where these karmics are going to be these third parties for what they're doing to you guys in your relationship. These people are hiding there in hermit mode, trying to come up with new ideas because they got to get this money by tomorrow. These people could have lost their home or they're going to lose a home. Okay, a lot of abundance is being lost here for these people, but they did this to themselves. They brought this onto themselves. That's why they're working so hard as well, guys. They, they're trying to protect their own abundance here. They only see this, your person, or you guys only see this person as money, a, a provider, somebody who just finances, just, you know, somebody that finance you guys, you know, somebody that just going to provide a life for them. They don't love this person, okay? All right? But as the outcome of this situation, guys, you guys are going to be rising above the bullshit, the haters, the drama, the gossip, the lies, the rumors. You guys are definitely a growing and ascending as the outcome. Okay, guys? And that's just that on that. So let's pull some messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to get the justice that you, you all deserve. For sure. You guys could definitely have Libra, how the aspect in your birth chart, or your person does. 
Okay, guys, but justice is definitely going to be served here. These people have a lot of karma to face for sure. And your person uh, makes you happy or this person feels like you really do make them happy. Like they, this is the sun upright. You know, you guys really make this person happy and you have victory success over these um comics okay triumph they could be getting trampled over by your ancestors as well guys yeah by your guides your guardians for what they're doing behind the scenes they feel like nobody can see them like i said these third parties and comics are definitely trying to hide themselves they're they're in hermit mode doing these things to you guys behind the scenes it could be a virgo as well guys yeah we got pisces out here aquarius Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, guys. But y'all trusting y'all intuition for sure. What's the message for you? Guys, ancestors, God. Give me the message. Just very like holy. Oh, I agree. This is the first time. All right, my love. So we have I hid who I really am from you. This is definitely your person's energy. Finding out the truth crushed me. I feel like this third party doesn't want to. I feel like they're just delusional. Like they just don't want to understand. They don't want to believe what is really what it really is. You know, this has to be very stressful for this person that got involved with this um, other energy here. I feel like that's what really is stressing this person out. It's like, damn, I didn't know that. You know, but they went and got what they were looking for, guys. At the same time, because they should have never been in this energy in the first place. But I feel like they just really regret like dealing with this energy. I will wait for a sign from, from, from you. This third party is willing to wait on this person, on your person, guys. I couldn't let you get close to me. My life is not together as it seems. So in a way, guys, I feel like your person felt like they were protecting you from um, whatever. Like, Because I feel like in, like in other readings, I said, like, this masculine, your person or your feminine here could have been in some type of group or coven or of some sort or some type of religion where... They have a certain type of belief system that they have to abide by. Okay, guys? And it's like, it, it's, it wasn't easy or it's not easy for this person to, like, branch off and move away from these people or this, like, system of belief here. Association is what I'm hearing. I want to be more than friends. I wish things could be different. This is definitely your person. They're wishing on a star right now. It's time for me to heal now. Yeah. I feel like you guys are in this energy of healing. You know, I'm going to put this card over here in the middle for you guys. I feel like that's the energy that my collective is in, healing, okay, and making yourself better. I feel like you guys went through a lot, a lot of turmoil, a lot of drama, okay? These, these people trying to draw you out, want you to fight, want you to argue. These people are very low vibrational, and you guys are very high vibrational. So it's like for you to have to be in that nasty, disgusting energy, it must have been very hard for you guys. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. This person wants you to know, your person wants you to know. That they're grateful for the spiritual lesson. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, this person, all they do is think about you. You stay on this person's mind. I am becoming a better person. Yeah, they want you to know that they are working on themselves. I want to feel that way again. This third party wants another encounter with your person. I can't stop thinking about you. I left when I saw you with someone. So yeah, this third party is obsessed with your person on a sexual level, guys. Um, and I feel like for some of you, if not everyone, your person could have saw you with someone that made them feel like you had something going on. I'm starting to understand our connection. This person is getting enlightened every day when it comes to you guys and y'all connection. I wish I could share my good news with you. This third party wants to talk to your person, guys, but I feel like they're just trying to find a way in, how to force their way in. You know, they like to come in with this chatty, chatty, uh, talking and, and energy towards your person just to woo them and um trap them and do spell work on them especially their mental guys and like i said you can use a song to do spell work you can use uh words you could be on the phone with somebody you can do anything to do spell work guys you have to really be careful and really be in tune with your body here I feel you even though we are apart. I wish I had treated you better. So this third party feels like, you, you know, your, your person and them have are speaking to each other like telepathically, I guess. 
um, or they're trying to do sex magic uh, and send energy to your person. And your person is just over here like, I wish I treated you better. You know, they're not really focused on this third party. I don't even feel like they're looking at this person because they regret even getting involved with this person. And that's just the truth. Okay, we're going to post some messages from the sex positive tarot, guys. If this is too much for you, if you don't really want to hear this, Okay, my loves, if you're not interested, thank you all for tuning in to Destiny 77 Tarot. Okay, enjoy the rest of your week. And um, thank you all for the likes, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. Turn on your post notifications, but only if you love the energy and the vibes. All right, so let's pull some messages from the Sex Positive Tarot. Let's see what we get here, my loves. We need some bold, accurate messages at this time. The Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are the messages? What do we need to know on a sexual level? What is going on at this time? Guides, ancestors, God, spirit. Let us know what all we need to know. Okay. That's going on on a sexual level. these karmics and, and, the, and these persons on my collective mind. A person that's on my collective mind. What's going on? What's the messages here? Okay, guys. So we have eyes. All right. BDSM and casual and consensual to non-consent and ten of no judgment. Aromantism in the reverse. So this, your person could love your eyes or you love your person's eyes. We got threesome or having sex with other people in the reverse. Okay, you guys could have, uh, you know, came together and had sex. Or in the past, you guys mm, came together and had sex um, and it was very rough. Uh, could, could have been some BDSM. Maybe the recent past. Yeah, okay, with action and um, exploration. I feel like this uh, third party is definitely doing sex magic here to reel somebody back in. What's the messages? Yeah, question yourself in the reverse. You guys definitely know whether or not you want to have sex with a man or a woman. I don't know why somebody here thinks that you don't. You got somebody here is not gay. What's the messages? Yeah, spectral sex, yeah. So this third party is definitely um, jacking their dick and watching you guys or playing with their pussy and watching you guys to send sex magic. Um, we're going into re Mercury retrograde, guys. So it's going to be a lot of car accidents, a lot of exes hitting you up, old family members hitting you up, guys. People doing shit like this. Well, they're trying to, you know, send uh, sex magic towards you so you can think about them. Try not to think about people, guys, especially if you walked away from them. Leave them in the past. We got sex work here. These people could be saying that you guys, um, you know, sell your body or that's how you got with somebody or something here, loves. And I just feel like that is um, a thing of the past. Yeah, we got aftercare. We got aftercare here, guys. So maybe these people like would take care of each other after they had sex. So this was doing your person did, you know, care for each other, cuddle with each other after y'all had, you know, rough sex. <laughs> um, yeah, safer sex is in the reverse. So you guys don't have to worry about that. You, you know, your person is clean. They are not having threesomes, okay, with balls and non-monogamy in the reverse. Okay, my loves. Sex education is here. Maybe somebody wants to uh, talk to you guys about sex. Maybe the fact that y'all, this person is not having a threesome anymore is because of the fact that, you know, you guys don't want to be involved. So somebody wants to like negotiate or talk to you about sex education or something like that to get you all to listen. Okay. To get you all to, um, to get something started here. But I feel like you guys are just not into having threesomes or into po polygamy or none of that shit on an honesty level. Like, yeah, I feel like that shit turns you guys off. 
okay? You're not interested in, with, with exploration in the reverse and triggers in the reverse, okay? I'm, I'm speaking to a woman or someone that is, you want to get to know somebody, okay? You want to be the only one. You want to be the main attention here to somebody, okay? You want to be just with one person here. Yeah, confirmation. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to negotiate. There's nothing to give anybody any information about. That's just what it is. Yeah, you guys know your limits here. Your limits, you guys, like this is where you stop, okay? I take my leave. <laughs> I'm good. What else is here? Spirit, ancestors, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody is definitely doing um, sex magic, trying to get someone to think about them, desire them, fiend for them, pine after them. Okay, guys, we're coming out here. The truth is coming out here. Or maybe somebody is also bisexual or they're gay, and that could be coming out as well, my loves about this person, but I honestly feel like you guys could be uh, linking up with your person or you will be in the um, near future. You guys will be having some good sex. Definitely, um, definitely, definitely having some good sex. Yeah. Yeah. This person loves your body. Okay, you guys are going to get together and really like, yeah, they love your titties here, guys. Mm-hmm. You and this person are definitely going to be linking up. This person does not want you to be celibate. They don't even want you to think about it. Yeah, they want to be a power dynamic with you guys. Yeah, they got a fetish for you. Somebody is obsessed with your body, obsessed with the sex, everything, guys. Somebody loves you. They could lick you from head to toe when you guys get together as well, my love. You turn them on. They're very aroused by you. Could be an Aries. Yeah. You guys could definitely need to get tested. And if you're not trying to get pregnant, make sure you're using a condom, guys. Okay? This could also mean that you guys could be getting pregnant. Or you guys are pregnant. Somebody could be pregnant. We're getting tested in prevention. Yeah, guys. Some of you could be expecting or, you know, you're, if you don't be careful, this is what it's leading to. So make sure you're careful, guys. Yeah, with awareness here. Maybe you guys don't even know. Or it's going to knock you off guard that you're pregnant, guys. So congratulations. Yeah, you guys could be having a little boy. Okay, guys. As well. Hmm, a few more cards. Gender fluid, yeah. Somebody here could definitely be someone that has sex with men and women, guys. So keep that in mind for some of you. They don't consider consider themselves, um, you know, any gender. Yeah, but that third party is in the reverse. So maybe this person is not fucking around with the third party anymore. We got assertivity in the reverse. Oh, yeah. Maybe they're not interested anymore with clitoris and reverse style, though. It's upright. So somebody definitely is sending sex magic, you guys, as well, your person's way. We got menstruation in the reverse. So, yeah, you guys could definitely be pregnant or you're um, you're on your way to getting pregnant. So you better be careful, loves. Let's get you some time frame oracle messages, guys, and then we're going to close out the reading. Here's some bold effort messages at this time. Oh, we got sometime before February, my loves. Yeah. You guys are definitely on your way to having a child here. Okay. Okay. It says six months, my loves. Or you want this person is going to reconcile. And when y'all do, you better put on a condom or tell them to put on a condom because you guys are going to get pregnant. That's how good it's going to be. All right, guys. You guys are going to be a power dynamic. Okay, when y'all come together, it's going to be a, oh, uh, it's going to be epic. It's going to be a force, okay? Something that's going to, you know, get him something to think about, something to remember, right? About the next season, guys, yeah, y'all could definitely make a baby on accident. 
it will happen right before the summer months. For some of you guys, you are already pregnant. Okay, you guys could definitely be having a little boy. Before the end of the year, yeah. You and this person is just going to come together, guys. Give me one more. Sometime before, sometime around your birthday, guys, okay? So those were your messages, loves. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Destiny 777 Tarot. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time I post. Um, cleanse your energy, take your spiritual bath, stay prayed up, my loves, and... Thank you all so much for all of the love and support that you show again to the channel. Guys, we are growing. We're ascending. I'm so happy, my loves. All right. So stay prayed up, guys. And choose peace. Find peace wherever you can find it. Okay, guys. And this is Destiny 777 Tarot signing out.